We're now in the process of uh, attempting to restore and recover some of our history. An historic old neighborhood in Tulsa, it may finally be saved. We'll have a special report and all the day's news, sports, and weather next on News Center 2. Please stay with us. is New Center 2 with Dean Lewis, meteorologist Gary Shore, and sports director Jerry Weber. Good evening. Welcome to New Center 2. At the top of our early report, the Greenwood area. Can this dying Tulsa neighborhood be saved? Over the past 60 years, the Greenwood area has been ravaged by everything from bloody race riots to urban renewal. New Center 2's Gary Reeves reports that there is now a sincere effort to save this part of Tulsa's history. If you haven't been in Tulsa a long time, you might find it hard to believe, but at one time, this was one of Tulsa's most prosperous business districts. Back in the days of segregation, it was all owned and run by black people. It was so prosperous, they called it the Black Wall Street. And even in the 50s, when I was a kid, this area used to really hop. When Milt Goodwin walks down Greenwood, he remembers the good old days, too, because he grew up on this street back in the 30s. Over on the east side of the street, we had uh, the Warren Hotel, we had the uh, Spans Pool Hall. When Charlie speaks of luster, you know someone great has gone. And we also had... Uh, is New Center 2 with Dean Lewis, meteorologist Gary Shore, and sports director Jerry Weber. Good evening. Welcome to New Center 2. At the top of our early report, the Greenwood area. Can this dying Tulsa neighborhood be saved? Over the past 60 years, the Greenwood area has been ravaged by everything from bloody race riots to urban renewal. New Center 2's Gary Reeves reports that there is now a sincere effort to save this part of Tulsa's history.